Hello, 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 welcome. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, in this presentation <clears throat> where we want to solve a few questions um, from earth geometry. So we'll start with this question from 2019, paper one. 2019 paper one. <clears throat> um, and the question reads, uh, the diagram below shows positions of towns A, B, and C on the Earth's surface. All right, I'm sure you're able to see. Um, if it is 0, 8, 20 hours at point A, uh, what time is it at B? So if it is 8 hours here, 8.30, what time is it at E? At C, sorry. So what you need to realize is that if it is 10, uh, 0, 8, 20 at A, it will be 0, 8, 20 at B because they are in the same longitude. Time can only differ if at all there's difference in E longitude. So this is the same longitude, so time should be the same. In short, if it is 8 at A here, it is 8.20, sorry, it will be 8.20 here. Okay, now, if it is 8.20 at B, what time is it at C? What is the time here? So to find time, first we find uh, the difference in the longitude. So we find the difference in longitude difference in longitudes between B and C, because it is a difference in longitude, longitudes that will bring about the difference in time. Now, if you look at the longitude for point B, it is 20 degrees east. So B, 20 degrees east, and for C, And C, the, the longitude is uh, longitude is 95 degrees east. Now, since these two points are on the same side of the prime meridian, we are going to find the difference by subtracting. So we'll say 95 minus 20. This will give us 75 degrees. So now we are going to convert that difference in longitudes to difference in time. difference in time. And what do we, do we use? We know that for every one hour or for every 15 degrees that is gained or lost, there is one hour that is gained or lost, that is gained or is lost. So in this case, to find the difference in uh, time, given the difference in longitudes, you can simply divide 75 degrees by 15 degrees and this will give us five hours. So in terms of time, there is a difference of five hours, okay? Now, at this point, the time is 8.20. What is the time at C? So C is on the right-hand side of B. Then you add time. If you see, uh, 
<clears throat> or somewhere here on the left hand side would have subtracted. So meaning that time at C, time at C is equal to 0 0.8 20 hours plus 0 0.5 hours. This will give us 13.20 hours. Take note, we are not writing as 13 like this. This will be marked wrong because it is a ratio. All right, so you write like that without the ratio. So that is our time. Now, we are saying a plane flies from point A to point B. So this plane flies from point A Rise from point A to point B. <clears throat> okay. Here, from this point, A to point B. At a speed of 400 knots, how long does the journey take if it, uh, AB is 4,800 nautical miles? So the distance between A and B is 4,800. So we want the, the time. So we know that speed, speed is given by the distance divided by time. We have our speed of 400. So here we are going to put 400 is equal to the distance is 4,800. Now we want to find the time, so we'll say T. So because it is a fraction, you introduce a one and you close multiply. You close multiply like that, implying therefore that we are going to have 400 times T is equal to 4,000. 800 times one. So to find the T, we divide both sides by 400, implying that T is equal to, we can cancel off the two zeros. Then we say four into 12, I mean into, into 48 is 12. So it means there's 12 hours. So here the time, is 1320 hours, then there the time is 12 hours. And you're done, you're good to go. We go to the next question, which is 2019 GCE. Okay, so like we are saying, we have got the fast track program that is going on. Uh, it is going on well, and we thank all the people that have uh, managed to join us. Thank you for, for having confidence in what we are doing. And we promise uh, that we'll do our level best to prepare you for the exams. So we have a fast track program, which has been running uh, from the 10th of uh, June to go all the way up to the 8th of August. So it is only 500 quarts per month, per person and mathematics only. Meaning that the entire period you need to pay a thousand quarts. All right. Here we are starting from the scratch and covering everything that is needed. We'll try by all means to prepare you so that you are able to get a distinction. Okay, you get a distinction. All right. So in case you would want to join us, you can contact us on 0978-56-5876. You can WhatsApp or call. You can call or you WhatsApp. Okay. 
then 0979-67-3809, you can call on this line only. All right, so let's look at the second question. The diagram shows points A, B, and C. Now, you can see these questions are usually repeated. If it is, if the local time, if the local time at B, uh, at B, is 15 hours. Here it is 15 hours. What is the local time at C? So this is where C is. We want the time here. So to do that, we need the difference in longitudes. Difference in longitudes. From there, you get the difference in time. All right, so when you look at these two, B is 30 degrees west, then C is 75 degrees east. They are on different sides of the uh, different sides of the, the, the prime meridian. All right, so you are going to get the difference in longitudes by adding. Okay, just a minute, let me bring the PDF again. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's see, let me bring the PDF again. Okay, we are, we are good to go. Okay, so we are going to find the difference by adding. So we are going to say um, we are going to say 30 plus 75. Okay. So when you add here, you get 105. So now to find the difference in time. In time, you divide 105 by 15 degrees, and this will give you seven, seven hours. All right, now, since C is on the right-hand side, so we are going to add time. So meaning that the time at C will be 15 hours plus zero, zero 0.07 hours. Zero 0.07 hours. So when you add here, you are going to have zero, zero, two, two. So at point C, it will be 22 hours. That will be the, the time. That will be the time at point C. 
Now, it takes a plane six hours to fly from point A to B. From point A to B, it takes six hours. Uh, what is the speed? So like we said, speed is equal to distance over time. All right, so our speed will be equal to, now, since we do not have the distance, so we are going to find the distance here. And now, because they are saying it's supposed to be in knots, it means the distance should be in nautical miles, the time will be in hours. So because one nautical mile, the hour is one knot. So meaning that we are going to find the distance here in nautical miles. And since we are talking about the same longitude, which is 30 degrees west, the distance in nautical miles is found by saying theta by 60 minutes. All right? Then you can say divided by time taken is six. So this will be equal to, now the theta is a difference in latitudes because the longitude is the same. What is different is the, the latitude, 60 degrees and 30 degrees. So when we add, we get 90 degrees. So our theta is 90 degrees times 60 seconds divided by 60. So six into 60 is 10, 10 by 900 we have got here. by 90, sorry, it's 900 notes. Okay, this is where we end for this presentation. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also subscribe on a new channel which we are promoting, which is Kanban Piri, uh, JM. If you want the lessons, again, 0978-56-5876. This has been Piri Kamban signing out. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom.